Peace team, just wanted to spend a moment on the melodic minor scale as it relates to two five ones, because I have to say it. It's just something that can be used later. I usually just use part of the five finger pattern because I'm an amateur jazz cat. And so, um, but I'm aware of the melodic minor and I just felt like I needed to share that. So for instance, for a D minor seven flat five, we have the root four flat five and flat seven. And we know we can play the ma the major triad down a whole step, two half steps. But we can also play what's called the F melodic minor. So the F melodic minor are these notes. It's the minor five finger pattern. But you're also going to be introducing the major seven. So remember, we, we, if we, it's easy to find the major seven because it's a half step down from the root. Half step down from F. And then we're just adding the sixth note, which is just a natural note. So for instance, so this scale is. And when you play it with the, the minor seven flat five, It really helps. It just adds extra notes. Basically, you're adding two more notes to our five finger pattern that we generally use. So, in a sense, you can just play. You could not only can you play the the major triad a whole step down from the root. You can also play the the minor triad up a minor third from which is a third note in the D minor seven flat five the in the D minor five finger pattern. You can just play a play a five finger pattern off the root from there. So that frees up a lot of opportunities there just to add some extra ideas. So that's that one. So if we have a 2-5, we've got our D, our D minor 7 flat 5, which usually goes to the 5, which is going to be our, our G7 altered chord. And remember, it's going to be the, the up a flat 6 major triad with the flat 7. You can use the um, sharp 9, but ma major 3rd, I throw this note in there that's called the sharp 9. It's, it's basically the, the minor 3rd note of the G. But you throw it in there, it's called the sharp 9. So usually what we would do is just this to, to the C minor 7. It's called a 2 5 1 in, in minor. But so for the G7, what we're going to do is we can think a half step up from the root melodic minor. So it'll be A flat melodic minor. So the same thing with this one, you've got. So the way it sounds is kind of like this. Um, you, there's different variations and you'll, you'll notice in a lot of the jazz harmony and music, that, wow, that sounds like that melodic minor scale. Yeah, that's what they're using. Like I said, I'm an amateur jazz piano cat, but, but the idea is. So the two chords together, you've got. Now something that a lot of people also do is just over the entire thing, the, the minor 2-5, you can also use the, the C harmonic minor. So that one is. A lot of cats would say, why are you messing with all those extra scales, man, when you can play the 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 C melodic, the C harmonic minor. So it'd be basically so. Oh C. And then they introduce usually the major third of the five chord, the G7 chord. It's a classic, classic thing. So if you if you if you you're hitting the five chord and you land on on that major third, generally what a lot of cats do is da 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 da. 
so that's that's something so if we work if you need it if you're interested in it that's it's just basically the is this is the melodic mi harmonic minor scale slow down all right cool so that's just a couple of things just wanted to share that and uh, so let's be encouraged in what we're doing peace